Welcome back to the channel. This is Raventhorn, and tonight we are back with Aleth and R. We're kind of doing this a little bit late. It's okay. So I'm actually hoping that I'm going to kind of restructure um, my uh, schedule to where I'm recording on days, but I'm going to future date them so that way um, it's a more consistent. So like on days that I know I have time to record, I'll future date them to like the next day so that way it looks like i'm actually releasing on a schedule i don't know if you guys like that or not but i feel really bad when like when i'm late or something like that so i know that if i would just record and then let it buffer and then let it uh load up to youtube uh it's a much more uh it's longer task than i like to do so even if i record on thursday so say so, so even if i recorded this on thursday i would actually have to um, go in and do all my edits and that will buffer it, uh, and condense the episode down. So instead of it being like a 32 gigabyte video, it can condenses it down to about five or so, uh, once I've edited it down because I have some, some conversion software that will help really increase the role. But that's usually what I do is I let it buffer all night because I go to sleep. Might as well. All right. So anyways, uh, when I wake up in the morning, I come downstairs and I load it up onto YouTube and then I go away for the day and work. And so what that ends up happening is, is that the episode doesn't even release till Friday, even if I re record on the correct date. So I'm thinking if I record on Thursday and then future date the thing to be released on Friday and I tell everyone, hey, this schedule release is going to be on Friday then it looks like it looks a lot better and I feel a lot better if I did that. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do going forward. Uh, Lord has not moved. So we do want to go and let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we have to go back here, don't we? Uh, let's see. Are they going to No, I recruited a Lord. We're good there. Good there. And let's see. We want to go to our victory conditions. We need to defeat Hargaroth. Nagarond, take over Nagarath and the Iron Mountains and the Road of Skulls. And then we need to have control 12 of these ancient cities, either by direct ownership or vassals and military allies, which uh, we should be able to get a lot of the military conditions over here with the High Elves with military allies. We just recently uh, coalesced with uh, Tor Arnak. And uh, unfortunately, that brought us in a war with uh, LRL the Radiant. So we're going to be watching her. We have a defensive yeah. army stationed here at Toronok because we really don't want to lose that because that's actually bringing us a lot of income. Protect and um, we're going to have her go watch the coastline for us too, even though I'd like to have brought her up and uh, gotten some reinforcements for us. I think I'm just going to have to do that with another lord because now we do have the income. I can replenish the, uh, the army let's see can't recruit was it? let's make sure I'm not building anything that I need to remember ice rock gorge that would be a good one to improve so we can just get some more income let's see if there's anything else going on here sometimes you have to just refresh yourself uh, plane of dogs while I'm not necessarily completely you know, but that would be a good, decent one we could invest in. Oh, Hag Hall. We need, we definitely need to do Hag Hall. Yeah, that's our main town. Right now, we're really good on income, so investing in upgrading your main cities is okay to do. We still don't need that. Um, the only th reason why you'd increase this right now is just to get the improved garrison, which uh, they're the same thing except for heavy arrowheads. Not a huge difference, but, you know, could be worth it. Especially if we see signs of war of them coming over. Uh, we have fully... <laughs> that thing's not going to be falling anytime soon. The only one that could technically fall is this one. Um, so, we'll just have to watch her. And hopefully we could maybe sue for peace. Let's just actually just test that really quick. Improving. We could try using um, some influence... To get some peace, improve relations. Yeah, let's just yeah, let's let's do that, and that's going to actually get us up to negative oh, 13. We might be able to get a uh, non-aggression pact. Um, 
just because, all right, so I know I want this, and I don't mind taking this over uh, by force. Like, I might actually do that once we defeat the elves, the hot dark elves, I mean. But essentially what I'm trying to say is that I don't mind getting revenge because it secures my border, and it means I don't have to be recruiting a lot more troops here uh, and lets me uh, focus on the dark elves, which is still a very major threat uh, right now. Ready. Okay, we got our... He's ready to go take out uh, Malekith. And... Let's see, what could you take over? The Monoliths? No, because we have that army. Hotex Column? No. She could make her way down to Twisted Glade, really but it actually well. has an improved garrison. So... Let's actually just go and siege... Now we strong car out. To battle. Oh man. Um We won't even be able to get them out of the town because they are a port. So let's build build us some Nagarut. siege towers and maybe they'll come out and uh, we won't have to face the towers because that's the big big problem. Well, okay. You're there. Damage buildings. Can't. Sorry. Um, anything we can build that we weren't doing. Um, no, we're good public order wise now. Is that, actually, do we have two of those? Nope. Okay. Once you get your public order really sorted, you want to just go ahead and uh, get rid of it so you can get another. Uh, basically, another more economy building or something else. Walls yes, and bull, that's so being upgraded, that's being, that's good, okay. Um, not a lot we can do with this money. Uh, we could recruit a little Loyal bit more. Uh, so let's get here and two melee calf. Because this is our cavalry army. This is going to be our flying wing army. But we want to have a little bit of infantry just to have a distraction for them. Okay, who are you fighting against? So you're fighting against him. Okay, well, towards Renell. There's a lot of confederations going on with the Skaven. That's his knee shoot. I kneel before Aeothelia's tomb. Will you bow beside me? Um. You're at war. No, I don't want to improve my relations anymore with you. Uh, yeah, they're, okay, now we're going to fight. Still got to be really careful of Cold One Dread Knights. Man, they got a lot of Black Guard. We're going to have to really pepper them down. Uh, might have to snipe her out. Uh, yeah, we can definitely snipe her out with um, Aelith and R. Uh, yeah, Aelith and R. But we got to really take out these bolt throwers with our uh, Reaver Cavalry and Great Eagles. So let's uh, see it's what the war. terrain looks like for one. Nagareth prepares for war once more. We've been prepared for war. I'm sorry. So, you know, like, it's really humorous sometimes to, to see what the computer says. Yeah, let's gamble that, because it's only 13. What do we get? Ronald is with us, so now we're at 28. Let's get, uh... Let's get them into a group, so they can move, move it around. And then we will pretty much... Uh, we're going to have... Understood. These guys, actually, without fail, I need one more, don't I, for an even. I'm a little OCD like that. Spearman. Then we're gonna have some wings over here that we can redeploy 
to our flanks. Let's actually do a little bit of further back. Understood. The Shadow King. It shall be done. Orders received. Okay. Archers. Okay. Actually, I know that they're going to be aiming for these guys, so we can put them a little bit back and we can charge them forward when we need to. We got our spellcaster here. Let's see how long of a range is that? 250, I know that they... And then get those guys grouped up. And let's just put them out front. Kadai be praised. All right, so we have to kind of step back a little bit so they can continue going forward. We don't want to get just hammered with artillery. Now we have snipe. We have 330 range, and they have 350, so we can almost pick them off soon. They're going to keep on coming, so we'll just keep on falling back. Kind of we're just enticing them into our traps. Without fail. Here's our flying wing. Literally fine. For Lothan. They should have, yeah, they can, they can get snipe as well, but we can't, these guys don't have near the range. So we're just trying to pepper them off. And Illyrian we'll get a little bit closer. And we're going to be running out of room very quickly. But we will... Or hidden right now, so they're just going to continue. Annihilate them. My duty. Seal. Forward. I go. Make sure the rest of our army's not been exposed. We don't mind oh. if we. Hi, mage. And once they're in range of all of our archers. Winds of magic rise. For duty, without fail. Going abroad. Cyclops, hear me. Spearman, forward. 
Alifa Na. All right, now I want you to be shooting him, her. I give the orders. It will be done. Orders received. Asa, forward. Quickly now. Loyal. Loyal. Understood. Acknowledged. Draw back. It will be done. Swiftly! It will be done. As you say! Draw back! Spearmen! Sundered! Shadow March! Draw back! Loyal! To battle! For Assyrian! It shall be done! Mage! Go then. Moving out. Archers, move. Understood. Orders received. We will obey. And we're getting it chewed up a little bit. But nice thing is that we have just a little bit of range. As you say. Onward. Okay, that was not good on my part. Archers! Defending order! Steel! I'm taking a pounding from this garrison. That's a high rank garrison. Archers! Without fail, we will obey. Winds of magic rise! Illyrian archers! As you say! How are these, uh. Quickly now! For duty! As you say! The Grey! We away! Understood! Asa forward! Pull back! For Lothan! Up! Acknowledged! Moving out! Understood! For the king! For duty! For duty! Orders received! Archers! Ulfwan Mage! It shall be done! For our ancestors! Yeah, they got a ton of uh, ammo, don't they? The Grey! Asor, withdraw! Loyal! Make Ulf one proud. We will obey. To the fray. As you say. To the fray. Ooh, ooh. 
the gray kill them it will be done as you say it will be done without fail kill them Typhon, hear me wielder of the winds How are they catching? Oh, that is so annoying. <sighs> For Oakland. We will obey. A pace acknowledged. Draw back. White lions. Archers. Ready. Pull back. Orders received. Illyrian archers. Acknowledged. March. By Illyrian. For the Ever Queen. Archers. It shall be done. Loyal for duty. White Lions! Tawa! Understood! Well, I think we can get ourselves out of this, but we're gonna, like, have to be sitting here for a long time. Like, our army is chewed up. And that's just what happens when you're trying to do a low-tier army with, you know, not much units. As your mage. For the Ever Queen, the Grey, we go. A pace, Spearmen. One mage. We away. It will be done. <laughs> we can get over here. For duty. Asa, move. We just got several units of black guard that we have to mess around with. <laughs> Orders following Ethua going. Making my way. Spearmen. Dark cars. <laughs> yes. What I really need is their um Spearmen. We advance. Their their units to all gather up and then I can uh, unleash a a, a, uh, a bound fiery flame so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just get our or actually we're just gonna send these guys away forward spearmen Moving out! Assyrian guides us! Trying just to My keep them just... Setting forth. Spearmen! 
All right, let's get some extra speed going on. Wish I had these guys with ammo. <laughs> Be really useful. Don't know where these guys are going. Alright, we're breaking in the breaking, 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 breaking. Okay, we just need these three all together. So now we can get them all together, please. Give us a little bit more room for them to gather up. And we'll hit the triple speed. Let them gather up, let them gather up, let them gather up. Alright, now we got them. Now we got gotcha. you. I might have not timed that right well, but we're going to get a good amount. And they're still up. The foe. I got 137 seconds, so hit triple speed. I'm probably going to what I'm going to do is uh, fast forward through all this, like cut it out. Truck. Moving out, the greater good. tell you guys <laughs> oh it hurts Alethanar's down or uh the gray uh, no the, not the gray um our white lions are down oh I hope we can save some of them a lot of them are elite units too All right, we salvaged all of our army except for Elithanar and the Pure Main Company. Their deaths are necessary. The Shadow Crown weighs heavily on my. What do you want? On aggression. Can you give me trade? No. Want trade? That's what we want. Was what we want trade right now. More money. Oh, okay. So we got well-founded, dangerous. It really might just be useful to get him because he's level seven. No, she's well, level nine. Um. Um, My prowess is needed. Let's see. What's what's our really good ones? Hawkeye, Exemplar, which is chariots, and resilient. Dragon willed. Uh, let's just get King and her. Country. 
Man, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> I sense the Armor of Destiny. All right, no weapons. Let's give you physical resistance. Dragon units, dragon armor. Gleaming pendant, anything else? Just that. And to bolster our rank right now, we'll get those guys. Because that will be at least a strong unit. Uh, they can only come at us with the Nagaron soldiers. Uh, we will continue the siege. We can just hope that, uh, yeah, this army right here doesn't come and help them. Which we could send, uh, which, oh yeah, that's, that's what we were going to do. I serve the king. Your instructions. My visions predict failure. Let's uh, go into ambush. Ambush success. Okay, so. Let's go All right teams. here. Ready to ambush, attack. because they can't get around us very easily. We're not at war with them, so that's good. All right, Twisted Glade. All right, definitely. Twenty percent, twenty percent. Nah, let's just get it. Let's just get going on it. And then Twisted Glade. What should we do here? Um, this is our most northerly post. So what would be nice is if we could either get our Acer camp. I really want these these girls handmaidens but we can't build it here um, yeah, let, let's let's put our uh... all right so this is what we'll do we will put this on so that way we can build that a little bit cheaper we'll still build our harbor and we will still build this because it's a nice walled settlement. Still got 5,000 gold. Lord has not moved. Taking up Put her in there. I serve the Phoenix King. Let me check something. Alrighty. So, um, got an about... Oh, we got some not so Princess large of progress, but I'll give us another five minutes because I'm going to cut out that kind of like into that battle. Uh, you should already have that um, done if you're watching this now. Uh, but we'll hit in turn and uh, see what happens here. Damage buildings still can't do that. Um, we will just take that off. Actually, I really don't care if it rebels. You have my undivided attention. Going down to negative 13. They should really like us because we're fighting the Dark Elves so much, but... And let's do trade. And will you give me some money? Yes. Yep, great. Okay, Nagaron. Can't no, definitely can't trade with them. See World friends, Walkers. Maybe. Nope. Can't, don't know you. Don't want to know you. Nope. All right. Settlement building. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay. So we got that going. I have a plan now. Oh, this is going to suck. But I need them so that way because we're military allies.
Dang, allies. I will hear your plea, mortal. Yeah, sure, what the hey. Should have I should have checked to see I if they had any money. Tomb. Will you bow beside me? Sure. Whatever. And we ambushed them. Subjugate them. Take them captive. like that. Uh, because it's not going to give us very much, let's go ahead and execute. The Shadow Crown weighs heavily. Sure. Ooh, nice. Precise fletching's done. Mission aborted, we don't want to kill our ally, mark for death, new targets. Alright, let's decide this and then we'll end the episode there. Enemy killed in battle. Um, Alright, so. Ah, uh, we can't make it. She's going to make it all the way over to here. I'd like to have killed her. What we could do is maybe we can maybe uh... Lady of the now, let's get right here and we will do ambush because she maybe maybe she'll go down to Eagle Gate instead of I don't know why but you never know you never know. Okay, anything built? We have shaped this world. Toastic Lady, yeah, we wanted to build this. What does that actually do for us, campaign wise? Oh, yeah, we should definitely build this. Okay, Malekith, we get 8,700 influence. Yeah. You Go kill me. Malekith, please. Not this day. Crone. All right, well, Silence. go over here. Ooh, Circle of Destruction's open. <laughs> Come back over Setting here because we really want this place. I want them to go take this and then we can come around. Like, I would totally do like 180 for it, but I doubt they're going to make it that far. Definitely not. Mine for the Ever Queen. I don't want to just auto resolve because we will really lose our units then. Asura to battle. At them. We may have to turn Asura around. Attack. No. Unthinkable. Asura, we fight. Yeah, we can't really go over there and help. Um, the only way we can do it is... Yeah, we're going to have to fall back. None shall live. We'll For leave this, unfortunately. Can I offer assistance? I don't like it when it says, look, or is, or is, that's the shrubs, and this is light forest. What's Setting the difference, off. really? What's the difference? All right, we're going to ambush and dance. That'll either make them go to Slaver's Point, which will have a tough uh, defensive battle there, 
or they're going to go to Kron Kar, and uh, we'll slip away. Which actually, I just thought of this. Let's move a little bit away from the road so we don't uh, get exposed. Get there. Okay. And then let's go here. Route marcher, definitely. And then... Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, he gained a level again. Um, inspiring impressions, and we want Calvary Master for him. Research is now available. Get the armor, that'd be nice. Uh, armor is actually better for us right now. 10% upkeep is not going to make a huge, huge difference. And damage buildings, yes. Let us see... How long until Aelith's back? Six turns. Alright, well, that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe. If you have any comments or, hey, you really should have done this or this is why this happened, leave a comment below. I love reading them, love answering them. Um, keep your eyes out for more episodes. Uh, I, sh I extended... Because of the coronavirus, I extended uh, doing the next how-to guide till next week. Let people, you know, maybe uh, vote on, see if, you know, there's a different faction you really want to. Be sure to check out the latest Beastman videos. This video will also have the how-to guide uh, vote, as well as the uh, Norskin campaign will have the how-to video guide vote. Anyways, until I see you next time, take it easy.